Okay. So the thing is recording? Yes, it is. So this is the second time we have to do this. I can't believe it didn't work the first time. Yeah, I know. Capture card got all wonky. Because it was just gold. I know. Because I discovered Shayu's back 4-4 four four is unpunishable. <laughs> oh my god. Minus 10 is just as good as unpunishable. Don't worry, I'll put that up. Oh. I'll, find, I'll sink that and just put that part up. Alright, alright. Alright, uh, this is my, my thing on. Is your, your, your no. player, your player one. Your stick is not on. I'm player two. <coughs> okay. 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 No, it didn't work even though that controller. I'm so tired after doing the first tutorial that I don't think my brain is working right. <laughs> okay, let's just do it how we did before. We started off with, uh... We started off with telling everyone that Leo is a girl. Yeah. Leo's a girl, even though people still think she's a dude. And, uh... I'm glad my remark about Leo's breast didn't make it into this recording. <laughs> Whatever it was, I don't want to talk about it. Okay, so Leo is just extremely solid, good moves, scary stuff. It's, you know... All that jazz. It's just a German person. Know what I mean? Yeah. I, do <laughs> I doubt you do. <laughs> no, I mean. <laughs> that was, that's so racist, but it's okay. All Germans fight like this. Oh, really? They use Chinese martial arts? Uh, you... Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure Germany doesn't have its own martial art. They do, it's called angry. Oh my god. <laughs> this is starting <laughs> off badly already. <laughs> okay, so... Like, overview of the life character. She's extremely solid, yes? Just about basic Tekken play with hardly any gimmicks except for the thing I'll tell everyone about later. So, even more Tekken... Even more hardcore Tekken than Jin is. Well, Jin is just... He's got gimmicks now with that stupid stance. Yeah. You know, being able to do it forward and... And back. Crouch dashing out of it by just pressing down forward. Oh, yeah. Fuck Jin. Play Leo. Okay. Plus, Leo's down forward one is 13 times. I don't think Jin's is. I don't think so. I don't know. Anyway. Um... What did we do first? Uh, let's see. We covered... We talked about Punishers first. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to keep resetting this because it bothered okay. me. Okay. Um... There you go. Ten frame. <laughs> no, this isn't Asuka. <laughs> I'm serious. I My brain is not on right now. 1-4 okay, for... So, yeah, 1-4 for something frame. damage. How much damage is that? It does like 34. 31. Okay, 31 damage. Uh, you also have 1-2. There's no reason to do that. Ever? Yeah. No reason to do it. And then, uh... We did talk about this string here, but... Yeah. That's not really a punish. That's for when you sidestep someone... Because it's all guaranteed, and you can destroy them. Yeah, on but the back. <clears throat> there's no reason to ever do this thing. Because yeah. if they if they guess right and duck the high, they can launch you pretty easily. Yeah. But if they block the mid, I think it's safe, maybe? I don't remember. Okay. You know what? You do it so I can see if it says punish. One, two, one, one. That's ten. That's 11. That's 13. Do it again. That's 14. This thing is super fucking punishable. Okay, it's minus 14. God, that's terrible. Well, that's, you know, against people that know their punishers, yeah. Yeah. But it's really easy to, to duck confirm this thing. Yeah, because you can duck the third punch, and especially the high. You can actually, yeah, but I mean, that, that'll hit you and... If they do it, well, whatever. There's no reason to do the string, unless you're feeling ballsy. So, uh, let's see. 2-1 is also a 10-frame Punisher. Yeah. Because for the longest time I thought it was 11. I don't know why. And I guess, wasn't it 11 and 6? I don't think so. No. Because my Level Up Your Game app says uh, <laughs> it's a 10-frame Punish, and that's based on Tekken 6 data. So. Oh, okay. So, it's a 10-frame Punish. <clears throat> yeah. And it's got longer range than 1-4, and I don't know about the damage, actually. 28? Okay. Because whenever I do 2-1 as a Punisher, I do 2-1-3. Which you should only do if you need 36 damage to kill someone, because it's got, you yeah. know, minus frames on hit. It's not punishable. Don't think so. Well, it's not... You did the same thing last time, too. You <laughs> punish everything with a hop kick. So it's not even That's how I play Tekken. Okay. Even though I have characters with shitty hop kick. I'm pretty sure it's minus on hit. But it's a good idea to just commit to a 10 string. Yeah. You know, maybe? Like, stop it somewhere else. 
Like Something there, like that's there. confusing. Is that even? Or it's, I mean, I guess it is safe. It might be minus, but if you really need the damage to kill someone, or you need the reach, just do that. Okay. I like it. I, I use it a lot, actually. Probably more than I should. Although for some reason yesterday I was in training mode and I managed to launch it on hit, so I don't know what's going on. Wow. I was probably not holding back correctly. <laughs> so that's a 10 frame. 11 frame is just standing for. Um, you always want to do the higher damage 10 frame punishes over that. Yeah. Because, you know... I mean, unless you get counter hit 4, but even then her counter hit 4 is just like... If you're doing it as a punish, you won't get a counter hit 4. Yeah. So... Her counter hit 4 is ridiculously difficult. Yeah, I can't do it, so I don't. It works better if you do it on the back, just like this. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so... Nothing for 12 frames. frames. Really? Maybe down forward four. It, if it is 12 frames. I think that's universal now. What does she have that's minus 12? It's for a certain character. Well, nothing is minus 12, really. Yeah, that's true, actually. Right? Um, there's, you know... If, if there's, like with Xiaoyu, if there's a third, like a move that's like minus 13 or something, I just use the 12 frame shoulder. Yeah. Okay. So, basically just down for a war. Well, that's actually a keep-out tool on a good poke. You shouldn't right. be using this for a Punisher. Because it's still better to do. Down forward 4 has, like, the same reach as 2-1. Yeah. Almost. That's obviously, it has long... Because, I mean, really, whose arms are longer than their legs? <laughs> Except maybe, like, gorillas? But there's only one in this game. Are you braining right now? No. I told you I'm tired and I'm thirsty and... God, that, <laughs> that first tutorial took a lot out of me. Okay. Plus, there so. was like five minutes straight of just me laughing. Oh, yeah. Of Over Shaggy being safe after back 4-4. Four, four. I love that move. <laughs> okay, so at 13 frames? Up forward 1-2. One, uh, one, okay. And uh, it's got decent reach, actually. It's got decent reach, and it leaves them with that head towards... Uh, it's not really a good position, but it's not really bad either because of the distance. Yeah. But up against the wall, that, that'll wall splat. Yeah. And then you can, you know, fart in their breakfast or whatever you want to call it. Because <laughs> Leo's wall combo hurts. Especially with the 1 for 1 ender. Shout out to Honkuma. Right. God rest his soul, if he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, 14 frames. I like to think that all the players that become famous and disappear have died. 14 frames is 4 <laughs> 2. 2 2. 4 2 2. It's minus. What is it? Launch punishable? I believe it was. Or is it safe? Hold on, do it. Okay, let's try it. You're not doing... Okay. No, it was 10. It was minus 10. Try it again. Yeah, now you do it. Why you... I just got a text from someone. Raj is telling me to get on skirt. <laughs> how about no? Um, That's how he says Skype, by the way. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> well, they don't know that. They're going to hear that. I don't know. Okay. All right, let's... Uh... Forward 2-2 two, two is... What? Minus 11? I couldn't block that. You do it. Okay. Ugh. Okay, okay. I matched the hell so up. minus 11. Unless it's 12, and Leo doesn't have a 12 ring punisher. Oh, it? wait, I think it was minus 12. Uh, I gotta match that shit. Oh my god, okay, I'm gonna hold 2 this time and buffer it. It is minus 12. Wow. And shall use B tier ass punisher can hit. Yeah. Uh, okay, so it's minus 12. Yeah. So unless you have a 12 ring punish, like a shoulder. I like her shoulder. Yeah. Most other characters' shoulders are 14 frames or higher. Too, yeah. So. Oh yeah, down forward one is also 13 frames. But uh, you shouldn't really be using it as a punish. It's more of a poke. Yeah. And uh, the down forward one two extension is good for counter hits and stuff. Yeah. We'll get into that. What's after 14 frames? Uh, 15. 15 is after 14. I'm gonna let that sink in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I feel so for, bad. For 15, she has. Uh, well, down forward two, yeah, down and forward hop two. kick, and, then, yeah. and the hop kick has crap range. crap range. It does crap damage. Well, yeah, the damage is not that good. You want to do this unless they're crouching, right? It has, yeah, because down forward two has godlike range. Yeah, it has godlike range, but it doesn't launch crouchers. And it's only minus what thirteen? Yeah, I believe we. Yeah, I believe we established minus thirteen. That's a fourteen. For, God, you can't punish anything. Oh, up. Forward one. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. You're slow on punches, you know that? Well, not. Okay, you do it. You do it. That didn't say punish. I'm slow too. 
Oh, oh shit, I did down for one. Oh, up forward, fuck. See, that's right. Okay. Okay, Minus, so it's... that's at least 13. Do it again. Oh, okay, it's minus 13. It's 13, everyone. Okay. Just so they know. Minus 13. It doesn't, launch, it doesn't launch crouchers. It, uh, unless they're pressing unless, buttons because yeah, they get counter hit. Because it, it launches counter hit dick bags for some reason. I'm so tired. <laughs> okay, that was a punish, not a counter. You see what's going on? Anyway, hop kick is... That's a hop kick? It's a hop knee. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, okay, the hope hop kick, kick is... is basically your option if they're crouching a lot. Yeah, you gotta use a hope kick to launch, uh, you know, people that are ducking. Because down 4-2 won't do it unless they're counter hit. Yeah. Um, okay, and then 16 frames. Leo does not have anything past 15 for standing, really? Really? Uh, yeah, okay. okay. God damn it, Rip, I have to check the app again. <laughs> and I'm not even... Why the off fuck somewhere, on? off somewhere in the distant land of SoCal, he's just like, damn girl. Because he can hear us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He knows you're using your his app. Mm, just go straight to 20 frames. Okay, and then 20 frames is 4-4-4-3, four, 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 right? Yeah, well, why would you want to do this for a Punisher? What? Why? What is... I don't know. What's minus 20 that you're using this to punish? Exactly, see? Yeah. The move by itself is only minus 13, so... And yet, Leo players online like use this move a lot. Oh, and you can interrupt with a little sweep. Yeah. I notice Leo players love doing that move a lot. You oh can my. you can interrupt it. You can oh really low you can, crush it. Let you me can. guess. You can just... Whoa! That was awesome. Yeah, I know. If that had wall splat and you got like a full combo, I'd just walked out of the room. <laughs> Damn, that's awesome. <laughs> that is a weird. Remember, if you're ever playing against a Leo and you're using a Leo, a yeah. four or three out of that shit. You can interrupt it. You can. It, Hold I, on, I'm pretty sure you can. Ah. Oh. Oh, this is weird. Okay. So, anyway, try try Hopkick. That works, too. Now, uh, I'm not sure how punishable that is on block. I think it gives the same leg stun as a sweep. Okay. Oh, yeah. That's, like, minus 20 or something. Well, there you go. There's your 14 fucking... I mean, forward, forward, forward. Well, you gotta crouch cancel and then do it. It doesn't matter. Don't unless don't even, it's minus twenty one. Don't even do it. Just wall standing too. Yeah. Okay. So. And uh, if anything is, you know, what like minus twenty three, you can delay hop kick. Yeah. Why would you want to do that though? At the wall. For what? I don't know. I see Rip do it all the time. Well, that's because he's doing a crossover setup. And yeah. That's stupid. So. <laughs> okay. It works. Wall standing punishers, because okay. we got, you know... Yeah, wall standing, and then I then whiff. We got knees, we can crouch. Okay, Take that, so Mega Man. 11 frames, she's... I'm so tired, can you tell? Yes. <laughs> making fun of Mega Man, because he doesn't have knees? Okay, make, uh, making fun of Mega Man, because he doesn't have knees, wall standing for is 11 frames. Yeah. Like most other characters. Not all of them. And then, uh, everybody's got their generic down one. Which is a, you know, 10 frame dick jab. And yeah. No real reason to use it. Because they're, she's got down two. Cause I, no, I mean, because, you know, most characters' jabs just don't reach. Yeah. Okay, Anything. and then, uh... While standing 1-4, by itself, just natural combo, 13 frame punish. Yeah, uh, 13 frames. Yep. So, uh, you can also, for a 13 frame punish, do up forward 1-3 out of crouch. I'm not sure if that adds a frame to it or not. Pretty sure it doesn't. It's not, it's not exactly a crouch cancel. Did you say F413? Damn it! <laughs> I don't know. Oh. What move is that? Why F4, do I keep one, saying two. Why do I keep saying F413? I don't know. Oh, because I'm thinking 13 frame punisher. And my brain is not on right now. <laughs> also, I like to do F4 at 3 out of crouch, but that's for later. Um, yeah. Okay. So. And. And then 16 frames is while standing yeah. too, right? Because you don't have a 14 frame, because. That's, you know, no one has a 14 frame wall standing move. Really? The wall standing 2 is godlike because. Why is it godlike again? Because it hits grounded. It hits grounded. It's tag bufferable. It's tag bufferable. It hits grounded. Uh, uh, it's safe. Stop saying what I'm saying. You're turning my brain into mush. I was gonna say that too, damn it. You're beating me to it already. <laughs> Check out my notes. Uh, Oh my god, while standing 
Well, standing two is minus 13. And it's practically a homing move. It's, e oh, yeah. it's easier to sidestep than, you know, quarter circle forward one. But you can't really get away from this move. Not really. Yeah, so just you can you can walk it with good timing, but if you if you mess up, it, it does it tracks like all the way yeah, to Leo's. Left. All the way to the left, the right you have more of a chance, but just block it. It's minus thirteen. Minus thirteen. And we'll yeah. prove it, hopefully. Or you could do a fourteen frame punisher when I'm not blocking. Oh damn. That wasn't even the move. This isn't hard. Okay, I couldn't block that. Yeah, okay, minus 13. Man, you really do suck at punishing. Uh, no, it's... I don't play Leo. <laughs> so, yes you do. Everyone plays Leo. No, everybody plays Lars. Okay. Um, after Punishers... Uh, let's see. We're done with Punishers already. Wow. That... Well, we got uh, to do with Punishers. That's like three times faster than we did it in the actual first time. <laughs> Okay, so what's her whip punishers? She um, has two, right? Uh, well, ma major whip punishers that move forward a lot? Yeah. I like to do forward, forward, two. And then she also has that. And quarter circle, forward, two. And, and if, forward, if, forward, two on hit, you can... It, well, yeah, on hit, you can right? supercharge it by pressing one plus two. And then you can't block. But it gives you two special moves with blue sparks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and that was the first one. That was what? Uh, that was down back... Down. Four, one, one plus yeah. two, right? No, no, not one plus two. Just All right, two. down four. Yeah, just just uh, down down back four, one, two. Okay, and then only the supercharged move. is a uh, back three, one, two. And they're all natural combo. And that one wall does a full wall spot, an actual wall spot, right? Let me, let me let me just do it real quick. Yes, it does. Okay, I did. I fucked the input up for some reason, but, but that's that, like 120 something damage. That's almost 130 damage. Yeah. So if you can ever do that, you know, just get ready for a rage quit. Yeah. Okay. okay so that so, was that was a whiff punish. Quarter circle forward two and forward forward two are both minus ten. Okay. And uh, I I like to use them a lot from like this range because someone will do something stupid, and I'll just and then boom. Yeah. And uh, they're both minus 10. But on counter hit, quarter, uh, quarter circle forward 2 gives you a combo. Which I totally failed, because I wasn't ready for it. Well, it's it's kind of hard to do, isn't it? You know, I once got kicked from a room that said beginners only because I did that combo. Really? Yeah, everyone was like, you're obviously not a beginner. And for some reason, it's not working right now. I'm not dashing deep enough, I don't think. Yeah, I get trouble doing this combo sometimes, too. Oh my god. It's like it's really not working. That was it. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you can do it the easier way. We'll we'll cover that later. No, we'll do it now. Oh, really? Because it's Are a whiff. Kano? Are you Kane right now? It's a whiff punish. So, yeah, I usually get that like my first try. And that was a terrible combo, but. Eighty-seven damage, dude. I know, but I could have gotten more. I know you could have gotten more. I, my brain is really not on. Okay, so that's it for her whiff punishers, right? Um, no. Because you can what do else? stuff yeah. like forward 2-2 two, two, forward oh, yeah. with Punisher. Or 2-2. Two, two. Yeah. Um, you could do... Oh, yeah. A 4-3. Well, no, not really. That's, oh, really? That's, that's, no, because the range is really short. Oh, yeah. A forward 1, it's, you know, it has about the same range as forward 2. Um, it's a frame faster, so if you really want to go for it. And I, I'm not sure if... I think this is minus 13. Yeah, don't take your hands off the stick when we're testing Punishers, please. Huh? Scratching my head. I don't care. You just you you can do that after the tutorial. Okay, so yeah, thirteen minus thirteen. And uh, this is safe, right? I don't remember. Minus ten. Oh wow. Y is forward for a move that you do. Okay, do it again. Uh, Far four two two. Eleven. Oh wow, that hit. Okay, minus eleven. Yeah. Okay, right. so minus eleven, so most people aren't gonna hurt you for it. Yeah, this move might come in handy every now and then, but it's really not useful. There's a just frame pickup off of it that I think is still possible, but I can't do it at all. And it's you know, I I think it wall splats, but you should really kill people with forward forward two. Yeah. 
So Leo doesn't really have good whiff punishers because she's meant to be kind of around here, like yeah, this like distance. So that's really like the longest range she's got. Also, uh, while standing too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because, like, you, from this distance, if someone does something stupid, you can while standing too. Because it's got, like, a little extra bit of a phantom hitbox. Like, well, that, she also takes a pretty good step forward, so you can hit a lot of stupid stuff. Just don't underestimate this move's range. And, you know, being only minus 13, you can just throw it out whenever you want, really. Yeah, being minus 13, plus it does have some pushback. Because I found that 13 frame punishers are kind of rare. Yeah. And, you know, I guess 12 frame punishers are the ones that have knockdown. But Yeah, but not very many people have 12 frame punishers. Everyone defaults to, like, you know, the flash punch. Yeah. Because it seems like... You know, people just, they, if people do know their Punishers, it's usually just like the 10 frame. For moves they're not sure of, they'll just do it. Yeah. And, uh, okay, so. Oh, God. What are we on? With Punishing? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, uh, was that it for her with Punishing? Let me think. Yeah, I think so. Down forward four has. That isn't. What about that move? That's more of a crush move. Yeah, more. But of a if crush. you see something coming that's high, or sometimes even mid, you can just get out of the way. Yeah. It, like I think it crushes some mids. Oh but, yeah, um, it does. Well, that was more of an evasive thing. And the cool thing about this move is it's safe. Oh yeah, that's right. Because it's a high launcher. Yeah, and, and it has that pushback. But even with with the pushback, it's only minus nine. Or even less. It's not not jab punishable. Yeah, I don't even think four would reach there. Uh, it probably might, but I'll block it. Nope. What about a uh, down four two or down four four? That's twelve frames, but nope. Yeah, so it's safe. Maybe Bob can punish it, but again, it's probably minus nine, right? I'm pretty sure it's safe. But then again, who am I? <laughs> <laughs> who are we? <laughs> I'm not. <clears throat> on right now, dude. <laughs> okay, so, after this, uh, okay, so, that's it for her puni for punishing, right? And with punishing and all yeah. that. Okay, so, next, uh, pokes? Yes. Everyone starts with down forward one. Yeah. It's a minus one, like, <coughs> like I think every down forward one now. Yeah. It's I got, think there's a couple that are actually zero on block. It's got, a. Uh, oh yeah, Fangs is one Fangs of the few is, yeah. that's left. Yeah, Fangs is like zero still. I think it was, what, they used to be, what, plus one and six? Yeah. And now Fangs is uh, zero, most people's minus one. So, so down forward one has an extension with down forward one, two. Okay. You, you can duck it, and you will die. <laughs> like, really. Because if... I wasn't blocking, but I'm pretty sure I couldn't have. Nope. Oh, that's got terrible whiff recovery. But yeah. Yeah. Um, on counter hit, you know, it's... That's what you want to use it for. You want to counter hit. Well, I messed up my stomp, but... They can quick stand to block that, but then that's part of a whole other, you know, yeah, OP game. Yeah, a whole part and whole other mind game. We'll we'll do that later. and Yeah. Um, hopefully you will not. Hopefully I'll remember it. <laughs> so, let's okay. see. So... Pokes, down forward four is a good, like, long range keep out tool. You know, it's long range for what Leo's got. Yeah, considering that she's supposed to be, like, in your face and crap. Uh, back four, one plus two is a little slow, but the shoulder it's 15 is... 15 frames, right? Yeah. The, or I think it's 18 four, or something. Is it 18? It's a new move, so, you know, the level of your game app doesn't have the uh, frame date on it because we're just lazy. Or you can't update apps or whatever. No, that looks like it's about 15. Well, yeah. it's uh, The shoulder is uninterruptible, so if they mash, they'll get counter hit. And it's minus nine. The whole thing is safe. Although back four by itself might be punishable. I don't know. Uh, no, never mind. So, yeah. I think the whole thing is minus nine. Yeah, both parts are minus you nine. Weren't, you weren't blocking there. No, I wasn't. Um, I, I'm not, I don't think you can do forward two as a poke. But, you know... Give it a shot if you want. It looks like it does have some limited range, but... It does have the mid follow-up, and I'm not sure if it's interruptible. You try it? Yes, Well, it I, I delayed it, so... Oh, you can delay that? Yeah. 
Nope, you'll get counter hit. And then we tried to do the counter hit combo on it, and I don't think it's possible. Or at least I wasn't, you know. It's basically the same combo as doing it off of a... Uh... I don't think you can, though. It looks like it has... Yeah, it looks like it's a little too far away. I, I couldn't even crouch dash until that moment right there. Yeah. Until they were fully grounded, so that's all you get. Just Oki. <laughs> okay. Stances are a big part. Was, uh, was that all for her, uh... No, because all of her moves out of stances are basically pokes, too. Oh, okay. So, uh, back... Three, so I one. guess we'll make stances and pokes together. Yeah. Back 3-1 is another move I like to use. Okay. And if you can, like... If someone wants to rush in on you, you can stick out your leg and, like, they'll run into it. Which I think in real life would kill them. But, you know... Um, Counter hit, does it knock down? It, no, it doesn't. Oh, no. It doesn't even leave them in full crouch. But what it does have is two stance transitions out of it, and one of them is useless. Yeah. So, if you want to block after this move, don't hold back, because this happens. Yeah, you get uh, K and K. And that's near impossible to cancel out of. Instead, you wait for a second, then hold back. Wait until, I don't know, like About right there. there. Yeah. Yeah. And then you can, you can block. It's not like it's punishable. It's just, you know, you are minus on block. Probably? Pretty sure. And people will, you know, press buttons, because that's how they are. And uh, you can press down to go into Bokuo, which is a good option, because Bokuo is pretty evasive. Okay. You just have to commit to doing a move, because yeah, if you wait too long, you can't really... You, you can get hit out of the recovery. Okay. Yeah. And you can pretty much just hold back and hope that you block. Yeah. Because I'm not really sure about the frames or the windows or anything on it. But it, does, it crushes mids, so if you do it with the right timing, you'll, you'll go right under something. So, like, you're supposed to use Bokuo from about this distance to get in from there. And then that's when stuff happens. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, some of the things that she has out of Bokuo? Yeah. Now... Tekken, okay. Uh, <laughs> Tekken 6, Bokuo 1 on counter hit. Um, was the only move that she had, actually. Bokuo, that gave that a... Uh, Bokuo 1-2 no didn't exist. Yeah. So, this was a combo starter on counter hit, and it's gone. Yeah, and 1-2 is natural combo. But it's... Oh, you see that crush? Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... It's a natural... It doesn't, you know... It's not a launcher, is what I'm trying yeah. to say. God, my brain. What about on counter? Not even on counter. Not even? No, okay. it's, uh, but it's minus 14. So, okay. if you'll stop getting hit by it. And remember forward 2-2. Two, two, and then do it with the right time. Okay. Well, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. Yes, it's minus 14. Now you do it so we can prove it to the people. Or wow, I did, I did too. Yes. You can't launch it. Don't try. Wow. See? Unless you're fucking Kazuya or some shit. Well, that's, you know, that's two just frames. Yeah. Or something. So... Well, even then, like, electrics are 14 frames. <laughs> yeah. Bokuo 2 is, like, safe or some shit. <laughs> it's just, you know, I think you can walk it. You can, you can sidestep it, I think. And then, you know, you'll die. Yeah. If they're, if they're Leo, because they'll do that to you. But it's safe. For some reason, it's <laughs> like it's minus 10, and only, like, Bob can punish it, because yeah. he has sickeningly long arms. So that's all you get, is uh, Bob's 10-frame punisher. Yeah. And that, like, only if he presses forward 1-1-2, because he still has to move forward. Yeah. And then Bokuo 3 is... I think it's duckable on reaction. Like, you can see it coming. But I think it's hard to whiff punish. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's got pretty bad recovery, too. But it's, uh, it's a homing move, and it's plus on block. Only, like, plus 3, though. But it's, you know, it's something. It's, yeah. what, we, it's what we want it to be. Yeah. And then, uh, don't ever do this. 
unless you need time to think and you're panicking. Because this is bad. Don't ever do K uh, like Boku 04. Yeah. It's, uh, I mean, because K and K is just a bad stance overall. It's meant in combo. Mm, sometimes, sometimes not even. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure. I like it. I like the knee stance. It's just not very useful. Only use it like once a month or something. I'm serious. Anyway, uh, the last thing that's really important because of Bukuo, but doesn't come out of it, is full crouch down forward three. Because if you do it fast enough, it looks like it comes straight out of Bukuo. And uh, it's minus 14 on block, so it's not launch punishable. I think it was in Tekken 6. Yeah, probably. But that's what gives you your, uh, you know, your, your, your mix-ups. Your, yeah. So when they see this, they have to decide what to do. Because I don't think you can uh, walk that move. I did the wrong one. Yeah. It, like, it like realigns a lot of the time for some reason. Yeah, if you're already sidewalking. Yeah. Or it, it like, just sidestep. Yeah. Uh, try walking, uh, up. God damn it. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I guess sidewalking will beat that. But then, you know, that's what Bokuo 3 is for. Yeah. So there's all kinds of messed up stuff going on. So have you got them into the mentality of blocking this well, move. Yeah, you're going to make them not want to walk, though. Because you can also full crouch Bokuo 2. Or, I mean, uh, while standing 2. Yeah. And that's kind of cool. All you have to do is wait a second. Just hold down and wait a second. Yeah, and then return to neutral, and you've got you've got a full couch mix-up with like four different moves that all do the same thing. <laughs> okay, and uh, let's see—is that all she has? Uh, some uh, Bokuo. Well, then nice. there's there's moves that go into Bokuo. Yeah, three two down is new to this game. Um, um, there's four three down. Yeah, I don't really know what purpose four three serves other than tag filler. Um. On counter hit, it is a launcher. Because you get that. Yeah. And then, you know, stuff like that. I keep delaying that on accident. I literally missed the button. You see how off my brain is? <laughs> I pressed the space between one and four. How the fuck did you do that? I don't know, and I did it with my middle finger. I'm like, what, what am I going to? <laughs> okay. So, what else out of Boku? Really? Um, I mean, there's... No, we're... Well, I mean, this move. What the... F what is it for? It's got a sabaki. It's just a punch parry. And it's... Like, virtually useless. It's safe, but there's no reason to do it. It's slow, and the punch parry window is like yeah. one freaking frame. It's like one fucking frame, and... It's just... It is... It's... It serves no purpose. It's yeah, completely safe. Yeah, other than doing 48 damage. If your know, opponent is, like, really hesitating, you can fuck them up, though, because... They'll press a button after they block this, thinking they can punish it, and you'll just backstep. Yeah. Or do another Bokuo. See, right there, I could have just been like 4 4 2. I think you can even whiff punish jabs or something. I don't know. Yeah. One, 1 4 at the least. I don't know. Okay. But, so, that's uh, Bokuo, and now you want to talk about uh, K and K? Um, we still have to talk about the moves that go into the Bokuo, right? Oh, well, we already. There's only uh, a couple of those, though. There's, uh,. Yeah, 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two. Three, two. And then, you know, down, back, 1 plus 2, down. Uh, forward 3, down. Forward, three. forward 3, down. And forward, forward 3 is another one of those moves. I'm not sure what it does. <laughs> I use it as a spike enter sometimes. Yeah. But I really should just be using down 1. <laughs> I suppose... It only does a few points more damage. Than this is good to use at the wall as a spike enter if you really want it. Yeah. Be because it gives you the full crouch mix-up we were talking about. Yeah. And at the wall... Full crouch down 4 or 3 guarantees another full crouch down 4 or 3. And if they try to get up and, you know, wrong, and they'll eat it again, and they'll just, they'll, they'll destroy them. Yeah, they keep trying to quick, quick rise, they'll actually keep getting hit by that. Like, the only way out of it is to take it and roll away. Yeah. It's guaranteed. There's nothing you can do about it. Okay. Um, and now K and K. The stance kind of sucks. So, um, K and K. They call it KNK because no one wants to say Jinji Dooley, um, if that's even what it's called. I haven't read the move list since Tekken 6. 
<laughs> you can check it. I don't want to. Um. Oh fuck, we forgot down 4-3. Oh, damn it. It's a homing move, it's a mid, it's safe, use it when, you know, you it's see a, fit. Yeah. It's not plus on block, though. You know. It's not, but it's a good, it's a good homing move. Oh, I also forgot about this. Um, yeah. Crouch dash, 3 plus 4. It's minus on block, but it's a good semi-quick homing move. Is it a homing move? I think so. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. And it's similar to, uh, what is it, Lily's? Yes, Lily's Crash, crash Dash, plus 4. Plus four. Except, Except this is mid-mid, so they can't. But it's not plus on block like Lily's. Yeah. So sacrifice it being mid instead of high, but it's not safe. Or it's just it's not a... It's really just kind of a way to keep your opponent from running away on you. Yeah. Because uh, you can't really keep up your offense afterwards unless you have, like, frame traps. Because I think it's minus three, so it should trade with uh, down forward one should trade with ten frame jabs. Oh no, looks like it's more than that. Yeah, it's more than minus three. Never mind. So I guess your best option is just to block or evade or something. Yeah. Maybe it sets up a parry or something. Almost. Oh, you can punch parry for godlike, because that's <laughs> that that was like a just frame. Oh god. <laughs> That's like a just frame or Daniel slow. I'm mashing it. Okay, I'm gonna try doing the other one. Okay, yeah, you can't you can't do this parry. You can do the generic one, which I can't do. There we go. So it'll stop their 10 frame jab. Yeah, that's that's good to know. I didn't know that. I just discovered my own tech. <laughs> uh, no one can use that. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? So. K and K. Let's make fun of it. Um, back 1-4. Back 1-4 is kind of useful. Yes, it is. Because it's an insane. elbow into a knee. Yeah. Asuka's going to have trouble with it. On counter hit, it gives you that goofy-looking combo where it's just like a crouch dash 3-1-2. Not very useful, but I've killed people with it. Yeah. Um, that's all you get, really. Yeah. I've had some weird cases against, like, Jin and King where that doesn't work. I think that's because uh, Jin and King have a weird hitbox at some, at, when they're at that side angle. Okay, so, anyway. Back 1-4, four, forward 4, um... Back 3 plus 4 for some reason? Don't ever do that. Really don't. Um... Yeah, Bokuo 4. I think th those are the only moves that I know of that go into K and K. You, but don't ever go into it manually. I know it's got a back step, but you can't it's block. It's not worth it. You can't block during that at all. The way to block from KNK is like a crouch dash cancel with like down forward, forward, up, back. And that's hard to do. I can't even do it that fast. Yeah, not even. That's basically what I get. Yeah. That's, that's not good. So, once you're in KNK, kind of like Bokuo, you're committed to doing a move. But uh, K and K's options are a little less good because what you've got is one two, which that is, which is nerfed in this game. Yeah, it used to be mid mid to tie mid. Yeah, and um, it's uninterruptible. But I think this is minus eleven. Okay, uh, try standing four. Hold on, shit, that's not good today. Okay, Yeet. punishing the wrong move. Oh, okay. Okay, so it's minus 10. Yeah, so... It's not that bad, but it's got okay pushback. Like, if you were to do it from, like, back here or something, so that only the tip hits, you're pretty much safe. Yeah, it looks like it. I did a fucking forward floor. Yep. But they can, you know, interrupt it with um, a dick jab or something. Yeah. Which is why K and K3 exists. But this, uh, 3 and 3, 4 out of K and K are both minus 13. Well, it wasn't, you know, obviously that's not a natural combo. Yeah. But they're both minus 13. Okay. So, and then, uh, what is it? Uh, 2? This is yeah. also uninterruptible. And on counter hit, you get a combo. I think it's sidestep right back 1, 4 into the regular combo. Okay, you're supposed to let it count it. Maybe I was a little slow. Or maybe you just do back one four. I don't know. Oh, okay. That's not how that works. Come on. 
Oh, you're not mashing hard enough. Oh, we're off axis. Still worked. Alright. Okay. It's the first time I've done that combo today. <laughs> oh my god, I suck. So, uh, if you really want to risk it, it's it's a high, but it's uninterruptible. And, oh yeah. It seems kind of hard to uh, duck on reaction. Yeah, it is. But, uh, you know, it doesn't matter because you can also, it's you got the high mid thing. And yeah. I, you can kind of see that they did the high. Yeah. A little bit, maybe, if you're good. If you're not tired like me. <laughs> so, uh... About this move, on normal hit, if you ever get it to hit normally, this situation is really good. Um, Leo also gets this off of a punch parry with the generic parry. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, stop. Okay. Be that way. <laughs> See, it's like the exact same distance and everything. Yeah. If you notice, they're just outside of that generic back turn kick range. Just stay there. Uh, you can Bokuo in, actually. Yeah, Boku in, or, um... The only thing that will happen to you is, is you get... you'll just get down forward. Yeah, so, let it hit. Oh. Yeah, that's the only thing that's gonna happen if you Boku in. Like, immediately. It'll go under the, uh, back turn... Uh... They're ten frames, by the way, those stupid kicks. <laughs> if you're ever wondering why they come out so fast. Yeah. They're, they're ten frames. You'll go right under them. Actually, you can... Crouch dash under those two because. And by the way, I got that three to come out with the four, with the right leg. Oh yeah, Harada's lazy. Doesn't want to, you know, mocap multiple things. Oh okay, never mind. I guess you can crouch dash under that. The point is, I think um, back turn hop kicks, back turn hop kicks are mid. But you can both cool under them. No, you can crouch under them normally. Watch, just hold. Okay, let me get close real quick. Okay, that was in the middle of my duck animation. Huh. Well, it's only with the taller characters, I guess, then, because I've seen them be ducked. Huh. But, yeah, he doesn't, Leo doesn't have to care at all. She can just Bokuo right under all that. And if you wait for a second, you can punish that with a normal uh, Bokuo, too. Like, on landing. What are you doing, dude? Okay, don't even hopkick that. <laughs> That's cool. Just accept it. Well... I'm pretty sure you can delay the Bokuo in. There you go. See, so that's a punish. It's still punish, yeah. That was good. So the worst that's going to happen there is a, you know, generic back turn down four. Unless yeah. you're fighting a character like uh, Xiaoyu or Fang or Leo. Yeah, back turn moves. Yeah, like uh, Leo's back turn one plus two. It'll... I think it'll ruin your Christmas. You did a hop... Oh my... Why are we friends? <laughs> yeah, see, that's got ridiculous range. Yeah. And if we're talking about Fang, he can also do his back turn down three. Uh, sweet. Fang also has the hustle elbow from back turn. Yeah, he also. Yeah, I don't think it'll hit Leo, but yeah. And Xiao this is why we should have had okay. not Lee hit me with a thing. Do it. If you try to Bokuo in, I'm pretty sure that'll get you. And then Xiao Yu's got her whole thing, and then there's nothing you can do about it. And I did the wrong juggle because I'm stupid, but. And Shaggy's my main, too. Oh, <laughs> God. Anyway. Okay, so. Um, let's see. Probably should have talked about the sweep and key moves, but we're already here. So oh, just, let's, just, let me, let's just quickly mention the sweep. Everyone just know that it's 20 frames, basically unseeable, uh, because fuck Hanzo Gonzo. And uh, no, you can't. He knows what he's talking about. You're going to put that in annotation because people don't know what they're talking about, right? What, that Hanzo Gonzo says he has, like, a 17-frame reaction time? He says he can react to, like, 15 frames or something? Or... Yeah. I don't even know what game he plays. Okay. So... But, uh, I think, um... I think he, uh... He plays Animu Fighters? I don't even know. So, the sweep only knocks down on counter hit? And if yeah. you press, um... You know, the second button. Down back for one. You have to commit to it, because otherwise it'll just do yeah, that. Yeah, it'll just do that... Little leg sweep, like, uh, Kazuya says. Uh, there used to be... Oh, yeah. Um, you get this. So if you ever counter hit with just the sweep, you get a uh, down 4-2. And you just hit down 2. Yeah. And you know what? That reminded me. Down 2 is actually another good move. It's linear as hell, 
but it's uh, really plus. It's really plus. It's basically like horse tamer. Sort of. A little less useful. It sets up, you know, sidesteps and all that. Punch parries or what have you. And, uh... Man, I even did it. Oh, and I fucking forgot about these moves again. <laughs> okay. Forward, uh, 3 plus 2. 2 plus 3. Sorry. This, it has a built-in sidestep right. Does it have a parry in it? No. Oh. But it has a really evasive sidestep. And it's got some range. This should have been Leo's invincible move. Well, I mean... No, actually, this is better. Oh, and by the way, the shoulders are only minus 13, or 14. So, okay. you know, you can go crazy with it if you want. Huh? There you go. Yeah, it's only minus 14. So, don't feel bad if you can't launch it. No one can. <laughs> Except Kazuya. Except Kazuya, because even his, delay, uh, even his delayed input electric is a fucking 14 frame electric. But it's gotta be, uh, you know, a just frame. Two just yeah. frames. Anyway. Greens can do it. I've never seen him do it. But I have seen him do counter hit down forward to into electric. Anyway. Um, yeah, okay. So. Down forward 3 down plus forward 3 2. Down, four, three, damn it, down two forward three. 2 plus 3. It, yeah. Fucking up our notation now. Okay. Just standing 2 plus 3 actually has a punch parry in it. And it okay. gives you that stun. And I'm not sure if you get a combo off that. Well, it doesn't counter hit actually. That's weird. Oh, you did it. You. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll try to see if it works. It doesn't, it doesn't counter hit if you get the punch parry. Oh, yeah. So if you don't get the punch parry, then you can do the combo. Maybe. I don't think so. Crap. Oh, my God. Charge, goddammit. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Anyway, it has a punch parry built in. So it's kind of good to just throw. I think it's safe. Right. Not 13. Okay, yeah, it's safe. Okay. But it's minus. Probably. Yeah. To the point where I can't sidestep or do anything. So you gotta block. Um, this is only minus, what? 13? 11? Shit. Nice. Why did you sweep? Because I, I, I thought I was a full crouch. So it's minus 11. Yeah. It's, it is minus 11, I swear. It's just that Daniel's... I don't know. Yeah. It, it, it might be minus 13? I don't know. Did we check? Uh. Okay. Yeah, it's not minus 13, I remember. We checked. Yeah. And on counter hit, this gives you a combo that's hard to do. That's a just frame, and I did it on my first try. And then I messed up the combo. It's okay, at least you got that part. Yeah, and I see Bloodhawk do that all the time. It's a just frame, because if you do it too late, you just kick him in the head. <laughs> you do it too early, and you completely whiff. You have to, like, hold down forward for such a split second, you barely see Leo wiggle forward. See, that was too early. That was a bad well, input. Just, yeah. There we go. And then I messed up the combo again. I cannot brain. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. We shouldn't talk about, you know, these moves, because it's a bound move, and... Unless you want to talk about bound moves. Everybody should know the bound moves by now. She only has two that are... She only has two, right? No. Oh, wait, yeah. She... Down, back, two, two, down, back, two, uh, back, two, one plus two, and down, two. Down twos are only single hit, though. Yeah. So, uh, it's a little slow sometimes, but I found uses for it. It's more be It's better at the wall, right? But even then, you can still do this at the wall if there's not too many hits, right? Yeah. This move doesn't have bad range, actually. Yeah, uh, back to one is duckable, and you'll die for it. Stop doing that. Oh, and then I didn't even buffer that. Yeah, sometimes if, if they're quick. But they have to kind of anticipate it because the one plus two could be coming. Yeah. And on hit... Back, uh, back 2 1 and back 2 1 plus 2 are both natural combo. You can hop kick it. But it's much better to have back 2 1 plus 2, you yeah. know, on hit, because it leaves them in full crouch and it sets up, you know, frame that. traps. Yeah. And it's always good to mash down forward 1 2 on frame traps, because if they press a button, that happens. they get into they get all kinds of messed up situations. Yep. 
So, um, okay, so that covered uh, her two bound moves. Her three bound moves. Her well, three, yeah. Oh, there actually is a reason to use down back two two in a combo. It's less damage, but you don't have to micro dash for the uh, the sender. It just looks cool when you do that. Yeah. Also, don't ever do this move outside of a combo. It's like it, that one right there, the ender. If you finish the move, it you'll you just die. Shit, I didn't finish it. It's minus a lot. I think like eighteen or something. Yeah. I. I think the two shoulders are also punishable, but I'm not sure by how much. So that's easily minus 13. Let's yep. get Shao Yu here. Just, just do down forward one plus two. Okay, that's that's 14 frames. Oops. That's also minus 14. Okay, I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, so it's minus 14. Both shoulders, I'm pretty sure. Just uh, do one. Yeah, they're okay. They're both minus 14. But the end is really punishable. Yeah, pop kick punishable, right? If they're at the wall. Yeah. Is it regularly how much punish? Oh wait, it's probably down towards two punishable, right? Well, hop kick depending on range, yeah. But it's definitely launch punishable. Like no matter where you are. Yeah. See, I, I know for sure. Almost everyone can launch that. Yeah. Depending on their range. Okay. So, never do this unless you want to go for an end, unless if you're doing a combo under. Right. Oh, did we mention uh, Quarter Circle Board 1 yet? No, we haven't gotten to our Crouch Dash yet. What are we talking about now? Uh, what are we talking about, folks? Are we just, are we still making fun of k, &K? Uh, no, I think we finished k &K's. Okay. I don't like that stance. Yeah. We were so, talking about pokes and, uh... So anyway, Quarter Circle Board 1 is a poke. As is Quarter Circle Forward 2, but it's minus 10. But yeah. it's, it's worth it because of the uh, the counter hit. You know, the counter hit combo. That I don't think I can get. It seems like it's a little harder on smaller characters. Like, I have no trouble doing that against Marta. Well, duh. Marta's got, like, the biggest fucking hitbox in the game. It seems like I have to do this to get the crouch dash to, uh, to come out fast enough. Yeah. But it makes you look really stupid because you do, like, a Power Ranger fucking thing. Like, you're getting ready to come in on them. And they're just... Yeah. He's like, oh, I scored a hit. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So, uh, so, okay, so um, no punch dash. She's got that move. Yeah. She's this got... is nigh unstoppable. Like you, you can't really get out of the way of this move. It goes like, okay, that's one way to do it. <laughs> it. It goes like all the way to Leo's left and most of the way to the right, but you can still step it to the right. Real man's low parry. Yeah, it's really hard to get out of the way of this move. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, and then there's the whole crouch dash mix-up. And that's that's another thing. If you want to do the crouch dash mix-up, you can't hit quarter circle forward, because you see how Leo stands up right there? Yeah. If you just hit down, down, forward, that's what Leo does. Yeah, because it's straight a roll in, dash, right? Straight into a crouch dash. Or into a crouch. Or what you want to call a roll dash. Yeah. So, so if you... uh. So if you go down, down, forward, then hold down, forward, you actually stay in. Actually, um, I think it was uh, True that told me this. Well, he didn't tell me, but he mentioned something about it a you while ago. You do down, back. Yes, yeah, so you do down, forward, down, down, forward, down, back very quickly, and you can go straight into uh, full crouch mix-ups. It's really only advisable on a stick, because you might hurt yourself with a pad. Then again, I'm hurting myself with a stick, too, so... Well, I have to play Wong. He's all about doing crouch dash cancel. So you can crouch dash into someone's face, and, you know, people like to stand when they see you crouch dash coming because I'm pretty sure Paul's Death Fist trained them not to duck. Yeah. Against anything that looks even remotely close to a crouch dash. But. And most people with a crouch dash like this have a Death Fist of some sort. Yeah. So Leo's down, uh, full crouch down 4 or 3 will teach them that it's okay to duck. Which will screw with them when they play Paul again. <laughs> but yeah. I mostly do down forward three out of uh, Bokuo from this range though, so uh -huh. it's really only useful for chasing someone down. Yeah. So, another thing about quarter circle forward one is that it's only minus 11. And I'm not sure how many people actually punish this move, like knowing that. 
Because it's it's a kind of weird looking move, right? It, again, it's like a Power Ranger. When you really fucking... think about it, when you really look at it, it doesn't look like you could really punish it. It almost looks like it has a follow up. Yeah. I expect Leo to do like a front flip or something with an explosion binder. <laughs> I don't know. You mean just uh. Just. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. I don't know. Like a. Do that forward. Yeah. But uh. I think that's it for the Crouch Dash stuff. Because, you okay. know, uh, there is no Crouch Dash 4. It just comes out as yeah, this. Yeah, it's while standing 4. And it's a basic while standing 4. It's minus on block, but it's okay because you can't die for it. And I, I think it sets up sidestepping to certain directions. Oh, okay, I'm just getting a duck because I'm dumb. Yeah, you should be able to, like, it sets up punch parries and stuff. That was cool. We fun <laughs> on the first try. Yeah, so it sets up enough of a defense to still be offensive with it. And then, you know, same situation again, where Punch yeah. Barry into Boku of Crap. So Leo's good at keeping up a constant offense as long as you pick your moves. What else was there? Again, like you said, she's meant to be played at kind of, uh, what would you say, like... like really, like, this range. No, yeah. Like, like, from here. Yeah, just where, uh, I would say, what, like... Her lead jabs kind of miss. Yeah, like just outside of down forward force range. Because then, you know. Because you, you know, if they whiff something, then you, you can get in there. Yeah. And then look, you're back in that same range with forward two two. And if they, you, if you're a little further away and you have space to dash at them, you can hit forward forward two. Yeah. And it's it's 15 frames. And, and then for after, some reason, it feels faster. You know, after the knockdown, you could just chase them. Yeah. You can crouch dash or dash up them, right? Dash up in their face, Boku. Uh, no. You want to use Wakua from around, you know, this range. Because if you do it right in their face, sometimes you get hit out of it. Oh yeah, didn't cover K and K4. It's kind of useless. It's, uh, hop kickable. Like, they can just mash it and it'll, kinda, it'll, it'll beat you. Because, you know, the instant low crush. But, keep fucking that up. Because you keep doing it as a punish. You're supposed to mash hop kick as soon as the knee hits. Oh my god, Daniel. What? Do you not know what an interrupt is? Oh. See, the instant low crush there. Yeah. Oh. Get that. It's like minus 18. I thought you wanted me to hop kick the, uh, the stomp, not the knee. Well, like I said, it's like minus 18. So yeah. It, so Everyone can launch that. Especially from full crouch. Okay. What was after that? Uh, let's see. We covered most of her, like, her folks and her stances, right? Yeah. We made, uh, made we, fun of K&K. We made fun of K&K. Okay, now um, I guess we should talk about her wall game. How convenient. We have some walls. All this right. is like the default stage to do that in. I don't like the stage. Yeah. Okay. So remember how 4 4 2 is a good move? Yep. It wall splash, right? Yes. Really well. And, 74 uh, damage, solo. And that's without a uh, tag assault. Yeah. Another move that you really shouldn't use outside of the wall is a 4 or 3. It's safe, but you can't do anything after it. You have to block. Because uh -huh. it's so minus you can't sidestep. But it is safe, and that's always yeah. good. You can't even punch parry after this, so don't even try. It's, <laughs> it's really just meant to be... Uh, you, you set it up after uh, a full crouch thing. Like, if yeah, you full once crouch you, into just up 4-3. Once you get the combo and you make them tech, you, like, crouch in their face. And then, instinctually, you're going to crouch. And that gives you a mix-up once they understand what's going on. Yeah. You get full crouch down 4-3 and up 4-3 out of full crouch. You can also do a... Ah. Why would you want to do a wall standing 2? Wall spot, doesn't it? Well, yeah, but so does up 4-3. And it sparks... And it's safe. I mean, I guess you could wall standing 1 plus 2, but... Actually, that's not a bad idea. If they can't if they can't tech that, it's gonna suck for them. Wall yeah, standing 1 plus 2 gives you the butt flop. If they don't tech that, 4 1 plus 2 is guaranteed. Now that's anywhere, out in the open, too. Like, if you just... Get up, sidestep a little bit. Yeah. If they can't tech that, that happens. How do you tech that again? You just press a button when your butt hits the ground. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you can mash it. Yeah, see that. And if, if that happens, you know, and you did this, 
Uh, it's only minus 14. And then the most you're going to get from somebody like Leo is going to be 42, too. Yeah. Um, Unless you're gangster. 2-2 two, two at the wall is kind of a bad idea. Because it's only counter hit combo, and it's launch punish bullet. Pretty sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we get it. Yeah. So, it's a good counter hit move at the wall, I guess, but you really shouldn't risk it. Not when you have more safer options. Yeah. If you're going to go for a counter hit, go for, you know, this. But only when you're sure you got it, because it'll put them back into a really messed up situation. Yeah. Because then, you know, they're, like, at them. They're on the ground, like this, and then you can stomp them. You can, you know, full couch mix up. And you got access to a lot of wall game. Which is actually fairly similar to uh, Wong's. Now that I think about it. I like it a lot. Uh, down I mean, forward. Because, like, when you get them in knockdown position like that, you got full crouch down forward three, and you also can do uh, down forward three. Yeah. And both of the And that, unless this option safe and it wall splats, right? Yeah. So you can also do down forward three as just another mid to mix it up. Because yeah. it'll, it'll wall splat just the same and all that. Wow, that's gonna get me killed. <laughs> but, uh. I still prefer a 4 3. Yeah. Just, you know, because these two moves can be done straight out of, uh, out of Crouch. I mean, if you stand, what exactly are they afraid of except for down 4 3 and the sweep? And the sweep doesn't really give you all that much except a situation reset. Yeah. And 4 4 2. I just like it. A lot. You wouldn't believe how many people I've hit with this. Too many? I think I've hit, um, I've hit Law out of, like, four, four, or three before. <laughs> like, I've just gotten there before him, and he goes flying. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Wall stuff. Um, down back one plus two is, it's minus something on block. One plus two, one. Um, I don't remember how punishable it is. Minus eleven, I think? That was down back. Too. Please don't tell me it's safe. It's too good to be safe. Okay, minus 10. It's at least minus 10. Okay, is it minus 11? Yes, it is. Is it minus 12? I think it's minus 12. Do it. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Okay. Now I'm messing up my inputs. Oh, okay. Yeah. It is minus 12. So don't do that against Xiaoyu. Especially with your back to the wall. Um, exactly. That wall splats, right? Yeah. Hard. <laughs> so, this is... The reason it should never go punished is because it's fully hit confirmable. Like, maximum delay. Like, that. Oh, shit, I did it. You have a while to press that button. It's fully hit confirmable. And it does wall splat, and then you get all kinds of messed up jump. And you can hold down to go into Bokuo. That, I didn't press that button. And then, okay, I didn't press that one either. Yeah. See, I'm just pressing buttons now, but... That's how that works. Um, I guess that's another thing you could do. If you, don't want, if you don't want to crouch and scare them like that. You could show them all your stance transitions at once. <laughs> the dance? You could just do this in their face and scare the crap out of them or something. <laughs> of course they're going to hop kick you, but, you know. I used to do that in Tekken 6 to scare the crap out of people that didn't know what was going on. What, just, uh... Yeah, the stance transitions over and over again. Yeah. Well, you can't even do it? <laughs> yeah, I remember you telling me that in 6. And they, they would sidestep me and I would just keep doing it in the other direction. <laughs> okay, so what else do you got at the wall? You know, besides the uh, full crash down four or three thing, being totally jacked up. Yeah. That's because it guarantees that, and if they get up wrong, they just keep eating it. Yeah. That'll teach them to be really scared of crouching, and then they'll get up into that. Yeah, they'll get up and try to crouch, and then you got your up four three <laughs> in the like, wall again. Fuck that! I'm not gonna have that happen again. Yeah. Fuck this nonsense, and then you fart in the breakfast. Okay. Back, uh, back four one plus two is also good near the wall. Because it's uninterruptible. Uninterruptible if they try a hit and then you get a counter hit. People will try. And it'll work, like, maybe twice. 
until they figure out it's undroppable. And then, um... And then when they try to punish it, they'll find out it's safe. <laughs> And yeah. then, do you have any uh, setups, like if they try and tag crash? No. No, nothing near the wall. No. Okay. That's not Leo's job. Something trying to a happy Halloween. No. That's not Leo's job. That's Xiaoyu's job. Oh, okay. You know, I yeah. think I think I had a set uh, setup for Xiaoyu, where it was like, oh, that's why I ducked that. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I was watching that match replay yesterday where that Lee did for like three three three. Yeah, the white shade. And, and, and then I ducked, and I was like, "Why do I duck there?" And then I I just remembered that that's that part's a high, so I instinctually duck stuff that I can't explain. <laughs> so I know more than I actually can put into words. Okay, so uh, while we're at the wall game, do you want to talk about her throws? Well, only one throw is important to her wall game. And do you want to cover that one, then we'll cover the other two throws? Yeah, okay. Well, well because this is important to a wall game, right? I guess we could break it up into... Whatever, fuck it, do it. Okay, so... Because you remember the throw this time. Yeah, 4-4, four, 1-2. Four, yeah, okay. 4-4, four, 1-2 four, into up forward 1. Yeah, I fucked it up. And that resplats because then you get all this, and I fucked it up, though. That's how... Uh, shit. Yeah. That'll teach them, you know, to be afraid of the throws, too. Like, don't... Don't give Leo anything. Oh don't don't feel comfortable just because you think you have Leo up, up against the wall. Yeah. Also, it, uh... It switches sides on break. So... so. If you... Yeah, see? So... I still got what I wanted. Even though... I didn't get what I deserve. That didn't make sense. Anyway, if they're too far away from that, uh, from the wall like that, you could either do down forward four, or just straight back into a bound. Yeah, just straight do that. But up forward one is what I like to use. It's got, like, it floats them in a weird way. If, you just, if you're not doing a tutorial, yeah, I totally you'll be screwed up this combo. I screwed up all of my combos today. I think it's that little hit right there. It know. doesn't matter, We got, I got a whole video on the combos anyway. Yeah. So, it, I'll put an annotation or something down below to uh, show everybody, you know, those are her staples. Make it dance. Yeah, make it dance on the bottom. Okay. So, um, after the 1 plus 2 throw and the wall stuff, you have uh, Okazemi and, you know, just okay. general bastardry. <laughs> um, off of the 1 throw, this move right here, which we should have talked about in wall game. Let's rewind for a second. <laughs> Always forgetting things until I do them. The first tutorial ever, of course. You're gonna mess no, I just up. I know more than I can remember. Cause At one time, I've been playing Tekken for 15 years. I, I just I don't I don't know how to explain it, but I know how to duck like everything. <laughs> but I never do it. I only do it when I'm playing against the CPU. Okay, so on counter hit, there's one move that you're talking about. Okay, so right, just this move by okay, this move by itself. Yeah, it's it's good. Cause you know it's only minus uh, 12 if they block the low, but, like, no one has a while-standing... 12-frame you know, Punisher. Yeah. So, I don't know how they got that frame data. The point is, it's decent on hit, even if they block the high, the low still gets them. I wasn't blocking. You weren't blocking. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Be that way. So, the reason this move is scary at the wall is because if you've got them pressing buttons or something, that little stun right there guarantees a hop kick. Yeah. If Leo's legs want to cooperate. Wow, I think it's the way you're walking forward or it's the corner. Oh, wow. You're supposed to get hit by both of them. Yeah, see, right there. That's exactly what you want. And then I screwed up my down back, too. But... <laughs> you don't get anything guaranteed out in the open, except for, um... A down forward four or something. I don't... I can't think of anything else. Yeah. But, uh... It's still guaranteed. Okay. So, that's important to a wall game. Yeah. It's just important in general, because it's a good move. But, uh, off of the one throw, it's guaranteed. They can try and back roll or whatever they want to do. They're gonna get floated, but you can't really do anything off of it. Yeah. But if they if they if they decide to back roll, you can do down four one uh, down four two or one two yes it's two down four two. 
And then you get that, and that's kind of a stupid situation to be in. So once they get tired of eating guaranteed hits off of... They're obviously going to say, fuck this, you know. They're going to start breaking one all the time. And then you hit the two throw, which, which is just going to piss them leads off. leads them into something that's no way out. It won't do anything, really. It's just going to piss them off because they keep getting thrown. Yeah. And if I remember right... You, that wall splats, but you don't get anything off of it. It just gives you a situation. It just gives you that fucked up situation again. It gives you your full crouch crap at the wall. Yeah. It just gives you your wall game again. And, um, let's see. I think that's all the throws Leo has. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's her throws. Uh, what else did we go? What else should we go over? She's got parries. Yeah, let's go over her parries. Uh, reset it. So, um, this right here, it's useless. It does nothing for you. All it does is give you a slight frame advantage. So I suppose you could use it to, like, mash down forward 1-2 or something. If you manage to... It only parries punches, too. And it's kind of hard to do. It's kind of hard to get to parry. You see that part of the window right there. That's where it actually is? Yeah. It's, like... Kind of it, like Steve's parry, isn't it? No. Or Steve, Steve Perry's Steve's better. Perry is early. Leo's is late. Yeah. You yeah. kind of do the same movement, though. It's really... It's weird. Yeah, see? Yeah. Oh, no. So, I, don't really ever use it. Yeah. I mean, it's... It's fast. I think it's the fastest. Or... It has the smallest active window or something. But, uh, the generic one, uh, but which is... Well, basically, this and the generic one are better. And we call it generic because other characters have this too. It's not exclusively Leo. It's just that she has some special animations for her, for which limb she parries, right? Well, most characters do now. Yeah. But anyway, if it parries a punch, you just get your, you know, Bokuo back turn crap. And of course, you like to fucking troll people. Oh, while yeah. Doing this. Uh, if, I, if I parry a punch and I'm trolling, I'll do the uh, unblockable immediately. Because 81 damage, almost half a life bar. And the unblockable is back, back, 1 plus 2. It's easily steppable. Like, really. It's easy to get out of the way of this move. Because Leo doesn't move at all. You can sidewalk the whole time. Yeah. Uh, like, really. But up against the wall, if someone's panicking, it will absolutely destroy them. Because it doesn't even wall splat from that far away. It's just that, like, if you're back here, right? Yeah. It doesn't wall splat them unless their back is, like, touching the wall. But I've had people panic on me. And still get hit by it. Yeah. I've had people crouch into it for some reason. Because, I don't know, I guess they think it's going to be a high or something. Again, it's one of the... It's, it's like Wong's Unblockable, where it's only good if the opponent's, like... Hesitating. No, if, if the wall is if to your wall, side yeah. or something, because then they can't really get out of the way. But it's got to be like a straight 90 degree angle. I did that on accident. It's got to be like a straight 90 degree angle, like this. A side step down. Okay. Yeah, see? Like, because right here, I only have one choice to sidestep. And if I want to, you know, if I got to get away, then I, yeah. Stuff like that. What the hell? I'm still going to die. I mean, I'm yeah. going to die. So it's a pretty useless unblockable, but I troll with it. Well, like, Eris got trolled with it, too, when he was playing, re when he was playing Resolution. No, like that that uh, that match in uh, Tekken Revolution against that Kazuya. Oh, yeah, I, I yeah. won with the unblockable. Yeah, by the way, that was him who was playing. So, um... Okay, so that covers... Uh, oh, yeah, what about her, uh... Anyway, the, the generic... Okay, the generic parry. It parries legs. What is this? Raj Another... Raj wants me to get on Skype again. Okay. Um... It parries legs and actually does damage. And... Yeah. And then you get and the whole... Get that, the yeah. back roll catch situation with back 1-4. If they back roll, then, you know... You get uh, a combo and stuff, and kind of yep. neat, I guess. Anyway. And, then, uh, like there's, and, then... and then back one plus two is this thing. And you have to... Two is the follow-up no matter what you do. But for punches, you have to press two twice. Okay. And I think that wall splats. Does yeah. that get rid of kicks? Or yes, just... it does. It's hilarious when you when you parry a kick with it. Because I don't know why tapping their leg makes them fall on their ass, but it's just hilarious to do it and then just back away. Oh, if you look at the animation, she pulls the leg for she pulls the leg away from them. I think it's hilarious. Look at that. Look at the animation. Stop. See? Not exactly pulling, just kind of pushing it away. 
still enough to make him fall off balance. So yeah, um, I think that wall splats. Uh, kick me. Not hard, but you know what I mean. So yeah, um, she has a lot of ways to get. Fucking does the punch? Does does the, the the punch parry wall splat? Okay, so now we're over here. You son of a bitch. Oh my god, Daniel. Oh wow, it does. So even then, these can be integrated into her wall game. Yeah. So her wall game is probably some of the best. Uh, what did I say last time? She's the bus driver to 50-50 town. Yeah. yeah. Bus driver 50-50 town and... Uh, That's how Eris would put it. Yeah. What do you want to say with Asuka? You wanted to call her that? I wanted to call Asuka the bus driver just because her hands are huge. So she's the deliverer. And I find that very unattractive. <laughs> but like people say, Asuka needs those hands to get her booty into those short shorts. I just did a 10 stream without even meaning to. Yeah, I know. Let's see if I okay. remember the other one. Oh yeah, so how useful Shit. are her 10 strings? Um, if you're gonna do the 2 one, 3 Punisher, you should, might as well just tack on another couple extra hits, maybe they don't know what to do. Yeah. You know? So learn Leo's 10 strings, they're actually kinda useful. Except for some reason I just know where to duck in it. Shit. Okay. 2 one, 3 2 one, 3 2 one. No, hold on. 2 one, 3 2 4 2 1 plus 2? Yeah, I think it's 1 plus 2. Oh shit, am I doing the wrong one? Oh, I am doing the wrong one. Two, one, three. Two, one, three, two, four. Oh shit. I'm doing something wrong. I forgot my 10 strings because my brain isn't on. <laughs> oh god, it hurts so bad. Two, one, okay. Yeah, so useful moves. Everyone, rewind the video. <laughs> no. Okay, so any other thing you want to cover with her? Yeah, the gimmick that I almost forgot. Yeah. Again. Oh, yeah. It's not a gimmick. I just saw Galactus or Bloodhawk or whatever his name is. Galactic Bloodhawk? I don't know. Eris calls him Galactus or something on stream. So, the way this works is that um, if you're cool and smart enough to do a bound, you can do forward, forward, forward. Yeah. And then when they tech, again, they woke up in 50-50 town. Because they're at the perfect distance for a full crouch mix-up between... Full crash down 4 3, four, three. And wall standing 2. Yeah. And wall standing 2, of course, at that range has enough pushback to make it safe. It's all it's completely safe from that from that perfect distance yeah. where they wake up. So they think they're safe. And they have to guess. But really they're not. If they wake up and backdash, you know, I think they might be okay. But yeah. who does that? This isn't Street Fighter. <laughs> okay? So let's see. If you wake up and backdash. Oh, well, you didn't even... World. You didn't even tech. Yeah, I know. Do it again. Yes, I'm so pro. If you're cool enough to be able to do... We're off axis now. So if it's a meaty like that, which is a two-dimensional term... Yeah. You can't even... I couldn't get a backdash out of there. You might be able to wake up low parry, but if you start doing that, then you got balls. Yeah. Because <laughs> why would you low parry from this distance? You know, I mean, it's, this is kind of seeable, but Leo's got this. So, yeah. that's a... I'm doing hand gestures at the microphone now. That's a <laughs> sure sign that I'm dehydrated. You said you were going to get me a bottle of water, and you didn't. I will. After this. Oh, okay. So, that's it. You've, you've learned how to play Leo now. Okay. So, and that's pretty, that basically covers everything. Everything that I know, and everything that I care about. Well, did I mention the down forward, you know, counter hit thing that leads to a stomp or some bullshit? Uh, counter hit down forward, uh, two, uh, one, two, leads to a stomp that they can quick rise and block. Yeah. So that you can, uh, fuck them up with more hop kicks or something. I don't think you really, yeah, I don't think you mentioned that. Well, if you get this to counter hit, you can stomp. If they get wise to the stomp, you can hop kick. Or at the wall, you know, fuck them up with a four, three. Yeah. And if they back roll, you get a uh, back 1-4. And it's actually not a bad idea to just do back 1-4, because it's plus frames, and then you get your crappy K and K mix-up, which is not that good. It might work in some situations. Just mash K and K 3-4, no one punches it. <laughs> just, you know, everyone tries to, like, electric that or something. I've seen Hihachi try to, like, 4-4-2. Um, four, four, That's only, like, 14 frames, isn't it? No, it's 15. 
people online don't do 14 frame electrics. They don't. All right. They simply do not. And the ones I just that try to do an electric Leo. And the ones that do uh, like 13 frame electrics or something have to do like 10 wave dashes before they can do it. <laughs> So you learn how to play Leo, and uh, that's not that hard to do. I don't see why you needed me to do it for you. <laughs> Leo's a really solid, simple character that, you know, they, they, they put her in Tekken Revolution because of how simple and easy she is to play. Yeah. And I really agree. She doesn't have a whole lot that needs learning. A lot of it you can just uh, learn by feel. I didn't have to read too much to learn how to play Leo, but I did anyway. So, um, it doesn't really matter because I play Xiao Yu anyway. But Leo's a really good complement for Xiao Yu with that uh, two hit wall filler, or the uh, two hit tag assault filler. The wall filler lets Xiao Yu do down back one for, you know, grounded damage. Yeah. Which is pretty bitchin'. And also, pretty much the only reason I picked Xiao Yu is because she has pigtails, don't judge me. <laughs> it's also why I play Tira in Soul Calibur 5. I didn't even notice that she had pigtails. <laughs> Okay, so that basically covers about everything. Yeah. Everything that's important with her, anyways. Yeah. See if I can chicken dance. Damn. This is hard to do. I could do it like six times in a row in Tekken 6. What the hell? Okay. Okay, whatever, Shaggy. Well, I guess this is where you cut the video? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>